up my ass. Fine, you die. You should let me have a look at that. You might have concussion. No, 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 don't worry about that. Let's just worry about finding the dickhead who did this. Yeah, well, we're circulating the description. There's not much to go on, Alex. Is there anything else you can read? I'm glad you could ride. Now, look, I told Helen, black leather head to toe, except for the um, red helmet and black and red boots. Did he say anything? Oh, I guess he thought he'd said it all there. Yeah, the Batman. I think it's taking the Olympic City thing a bit too bloody far. Listen. I'm guessing this is to do with the undercover case that's going to trial this. Oh, yeah, thing. Nathan Aubrey. God, do you think he's running scared or what? Nathan Aubrey. Now, he's the bloke on the video that was organising the boys for the pedophile ring, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, complete creep. There's no line he won't cross for a buck. Hey! Alex! Tom McKelvey, how are you? You okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. What, what, what are you doing here? <sighs> Tom's had a death threat of his own. Laser printer, okay. untraceable. Testify and you die. I suppose I should be thankful I just left mine on the bloody front door. Oh, eh? uh, Michael Riley, my partner, this is Tom McKelvey. Hey, Tom. G'day. You're one of my supervisors when I worked undercover. Thomas. Helen. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. So, so I heard what happened. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, hang on, what about Mozzie? I mean, if we're getting threats, he should be in uh, protection, yeah? No, if I could pin him down, that's where I'd bloody have him. Trial starts in two days. I haven't heard a peep. Now, Mozzie, who's Mozzie? He's oh. another one of my operatives. He's the one who taped the confession from Nathan Albury. I can't believe you haven't heard from him. That's... Well, you know what Mozzie's like, Alex. He's gone to ground. And I'll bet my house on it he's still trying to crack this pedophile ring. Yeah. I was hoping he'd got in touch with you. Mm -mm. Well, chances are he will. You were partners. We'll turn up sooner or later. OK, I want to go to Long Bay Ramon and I want to speak to Nathan Aubrey. I don't think so, Alex. I think you're going home and I'm organising a police guard. Mick, uh, can you get into Long Bay? Actually, Jeff, this is a, an undercover investigation. We've already got that covered. <laughs> Tom, one of my officers has been assaulted and threatened. I plan to get to the bottom of it. Don't worry, Nick will give you his report. You mind taking Alex home? Sure, Chief. Alex, if Mozzie calls you, you let me know. Oh. We've got to get him into protection. Absolutely. Jeff, uh, long way. You don't mind taking a detour, do you? Yeah. It depends. Hello? 
Have a seat. Okay. Nice haircut. <laughs> you have to be a bit more careful, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to be more careful, because you know why? I'm still going to testify, Nathan. Sorry, you've lost me testify. <sighs> Your trial Wednesday, don't shit me. Shit, so it is. You've come to wish me luck. Piss weak efforts like today. That's not going to scare me. Now, you want to reduce your prison time, you start talking. I don't stop talking. Great, you know. great, excellent. So tell me the name of your rock spider mates. You only use their nicknames on the tape. The tape? How many times do I have to tell you this? It was all a joke. What about the guy on the bike, Nathan? What's his name? Bike. Like bikes. Mick Dewan, he's a genius. Yeah, and you're a smart ass. You know, I hope he can hold on to his humour in the big house, Mick, for real. Because let me tell you, Nathan, there's a lot of blokes in there with kids and they don't appreciate people in your line of work. Exactly. Hearing me? God, you're a pretty boy too. You already know that, right? Because you're scared. No, I'm not scared. Oh, yeah. I'd be scared I read if my I stars. You. Yeah, I'd be real scared, Nathan. And they reckon it's going to be fine. Disgusting, Alex. <laughs> How long have you had this? <laughs> Too long. Hey, Moz, you all right? Everything under control? <laughs> God, I guess I should be feeling pretty safe knowing that you just got past those guys. Yeah, well, they're uniforms, Alex. They sit on their brains. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm ringing McKelvey. Get you into protection. No, 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 no. Oh, you are kidding. I ring They anyone. want me scared. They want you dead. Check this out. Just have a look at them. Oh, yeah, Nathan Albury. Who's this guy? Remember how on the tape our little pimp friend Nathan's talking about some guy called the Bulldog? Oh, yeah, that's him. Uh, it's him. Yes, sit down. No, thank you. His name's Ridley. He's an architect. Designed that crappy retail development down at Shepherd's Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him from the telly, the news. He's on the news, right? Yeah, he's been on the news, and I'm this close to nailing that fat son of a... That's good. And they're shitting themselves, too. And it's not just Albury, either. It's Ridley and all his mates. Because they know that once Nathan Albury goes down, he's going to drag them into it. I'm guaranteed this is where all our death threats are coming from, this idiot here. OK, I I'm assuming you haven't told McKelvey any of this. No, I haven't told McKelvey any of this. Why should I? Ever since we were taken off the case, it's gone nowhere. Working on your own, Mozzie, you are going to end up dead. Uh, working by yourself, there's only one person you need to trust, too, Alex. So what are you doing here? Well, I know this guy, Ridley. He's got a love nest somewhere in the city, and I need you to track it down for me. But, you know, I can't just get up and do my own oh, thing these days. Oh, come on, Alex. Mozzie, I can't do that. You just don't want to get these guys as much as yeah, you want Yeah, I know. Oh, man, it's like you don't give a shit anymore. You just want to hang around here in your comfy, yuppie apartment? Oh, excuse me. What's the matter with you? Oh, come on, Alex. Help me do this. Help me get this guy. I need your help to nail him. OK, now you are going to be here when I get back, right? That is, that is the deal, Mozzie. Mozzie! Promise me you're going to be here when I get back. Yep. OK. See ya. OK. Hey, Alex, Alex. Yeah? I never uh, thanked you for doing this stuff for me. Oh, you did? OK, well, I'm thanking you now. It's OK. It's What's right. this? What's this? Shut up. This is what I wear. This is what I wear now, all right? Yeah? Give me a break. Looks good. 
Thanks for this. Look, being out in the open is not the safest place for you at the moment, Alex. Right. Where'd you get these? It's not important. Right. Alex, you're going out on a limb and you're dragging me along with you, all right? So when are you going to tell me what's going on? I will. Yeah, I will. that's a very polite way of saying, when are you going to get stuffed, Mick? All right. That's Nathan Aubrey and that's Kevin Ridley. Yeah, the architect, right? Okay. Now he's got some really, really powerful connections, okay? So we don't want to go pissing him off. No. Look, there he is. Let's follow him. Let's just see where he goes. Yep. Stay here. Apartment 611. Well, that was very easy. That was too easy, come to think of it. Well, it's not unusual for businessmen to have apartments near their offices. A big deal. What's the point of this, Alex? Yeah, Riley. Where the hell are you, Mick? Hi, Helen. I've just been told that you picked up Alex from her house. Oh, I had to take Alex shopping. Don't give me that crap, Mick. Now, no, McKelvey's on his way, and I want you both back here now. We didn't arrange the police guard for the fun of it, Alex. Yeah, I know, sir, and I appreciate it. If you can't keep a rein on O'Reilly, maybe you should cuff her. What? It was a joke, Mick. A joke. Try and I'm keep sorry, up. Sorry, Chief, OK? It won't happen again. What's going on? Yeah. Nathan Aubrey's tape's gone missing. The tape and two copies were taken to the courthouse for the trial tomorrow. Someone in the sheriff's office must have been paid to swipe them. Our case is stuffed. There's no way Aubrey's going to name the bloke she was working for without the threat of prison time as leverage. You've still got the transcript. Your man Mozzie can testify. If we can find him. Well. And if Nathan Aubrey and his mates don't get to him first. So this makes him an even bigger target, right? Stupid bastard. Why doesn't he check in? <clears throat> um, I'm hooking up with him tonight. You what? Alex. Alex, I expressly told you if he got in touch with you to call me. I know. I have reasons. Well, I bloody well like to hear them. Why didn't you tell us, Alex? I'm telling you now. Alex, half the Sydney underworld want Mozzie dead and you're out having a cup of tea with him. They're not going to play favourites. Alex, we have got to get him into a safe house. Look, I have been trying. Did he mention whether he had a copy of the tape? No, he, no, he didn't. Did you ask him? No, I didn't. But you know how big he is on insurance. He's, um... Do you have any understanding of how crucial this is? Yes, I do. So it was Mozzie who gave you the pictures of Kevin Ridley. He asked me not to say anything. We got a postcard from Detective Christie in Coffs Harbour. He was my partner. Well, maybe later. I thought I was your partner, and I thought you trusted me. OK, look, before you go off your brain, just, just drive me home, OK? There's someone I need you to meet. Yeah. Excellent. Ozzy, this is Michael Riley, my partner. Great, Alex, who else have you told? You need my help, you need his help too. No, I don't, Alex, because we're not talking about a stolen boat here. No offence, mate. Oh, none taken, mate. Your tape of Nathan Aubrey? It's been swiped. Well, it just proves what I've been saying all along, doesn't it? People are getting paid off all over this shop, which is why I wanted to keep it in the family, Alex. OK, OK, I failed that test. Come here. But I passed the last one, so uh, does that make up for it or what? You tell me about Oh, come on, Mozzie. What, trying to find Kevin Ridley's apartment? Not exactly a challenge. He just wanted to see if I'd do it. Don't Are you for real? Hey, shut up, man. No, listen to me. She's under police protection. And you've got to run around doing a loyalty test? She's in a tugboat somewhere. I beg your pardon. All right? She's my partner. I'm her partner. She's no longer your partner. See, I care about her. I don't give a shit about you. You end up with a bullet in your skull? It's fine, mate. 
Thanks, mate. There's the door. What? Alex, I don't want you taking a bullet in the head for this guy, OK? Because you're a selfish prick, Mozzie. You understand that? You call McKelvey or I will get him out of here. You're leaving, aren't you? Yep, because your mate Riley's going to dob me into McKelvey. <sighs> Look, you do realise you are the only thing standing between Nathan Aubrey and his freedom. Don't I feel special? Mozzie! Mozzie, Mozzie, Mozzie. That's a stupid name, isn't it? What well, do you want to call me, Alex? No, your real name. What's your real name? Well, maybe I don't like my real name. Why, well, it can't be that bad. What is it? It's bad. Tell me what it is. It's Brian. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Shocking. <laughs> Look. Ozzy, just, just, just let Mikelvi put you into protection. No. Look, it's not like. No. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Look, it's not like you're giving up. All right. You're just taking some time out. You've spent so long. Listen to me. You have spent so long out there. You've forgotten how to be a real person. Oh, what does that mean, Alex? A real person. What is oh. that? Working eight hours a day and watching a bit of television, mm -hmm. having a barbecue on the weekend. I can't do that. I don't want to do I'm that, not Alex. To do that. Listen to me. The night that we spent together, it, it may have just been a really bad judgment call on your part. No, 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 no. But, but it's it's the only thing that reminds me that I'm. Come here. Come here. For me, it's the only thing that reminds me that I'm still human. I gotta go. I gotta go, Alex. Go. I'll see you in court. Mozzie, the tape. Okay, did you did you make a copy? Where is it? Day in court? Yep, I can't wait. Any news on my man on the bike? Uh, look, the model he was riding, really popular. I'm not having any luck. And uh, not much luck with the boots either so far. Yeah, okay. So what's Mick up to? Uh, yeah, Matt and Gavin pulled out a body at Rose Bay oh, this morning. Hey, Michael! How hey, bad is it? Just had brekkie? Hey, get this down the chopper, okay? Hey, listen, can I have a word to you? Can I have a word to you, please? Can I have a word to you? Um, What's going on here? Oh, just let Gavin Maddie take care of it. It'll be fine, yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. No, it's okay. Let's just... Hey, hey, come here. Alex. Oh, shit! Oh, Mozzie! Oh, what's this shit? What's this shit? No! Let's go. No! Alex, Helen told me you were... You should have pulled him in, Tom. You're telling me that? You should have put him in protection months ago. How could I do that when he was too paranoid to even phone me? Did you see him last night? Did you ask him about the tape? That's good. Straight into business. That's, that's good work. Alex, the judge has thrown out the case against Albury. Without a copy of that tape, this investigation is dead in the water. You think that's what Mozzie would have wanted?
He made a tape, but I don't know where he put it. <sighs> well, who the hell knows where it is? McKelvey. Al. Alex. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I seem to be the only one around here. Well, nobody else seems to give a stuff. You know, he don't give a shit. Okay, I'll drive you home, all right? I'll drive you home, okay? No, 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 look, look, look. Nathan, Nathan Aubrey has to know something about who ordered the hit on Mozzie, okay? So, no, 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 I've got, I've got to try. Hey, you're probably right, okay? But you think you can open up to you or anyone else? I've got to try. I've got to try. Mozzie's dead. That is a tragedy. Was it an accident? I don't know, Nathan. Why don't you tell us? Did you accidentally hire a hitman to accidentally shoot Mozzie at point blank range? Is that how it went, hey? <laughs> Imagination is more important than knowledge. I've got that on a t-shirt. I can get you some if you want. If you're involved in this, mate, we're going to find out about it. Yeah, see, so we were already on to you. You and your mate Ridley. Who? Oh, that's right. You prefer to call him the Bulldog, don't you? <laughs> the, hey? the Bulldog? Is he the one that organised the death threats? Huh? Commissioned the hit on Mozzie? <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, mate. And do you guys know a good restaurant? No, I don't! Yeah, because I reckon I'm out of here by lunchtime. Seems the case has been dropped. Aubrey! <laughs> I want to do surveillance on that kid as soon as he gets out. Yeah, but I don't want you to do it, OK? Because he knows your face. Let's get someone else. Pub. No, I think he'd be off to see his girlfriend or a brothel. It's usually the first stop. Okay, do you see any water, please? This is Portable 202. Go ahead, Portable 202. The suspect is entering the coffee shop now. Hey. Sex in prison must be better than the coffee. Assault Detective Sinclair. Was it Nathan Albury? Who? The guy you'll meet at the cafe, you idiot. What are you, deaf? You're tripping out there, Sherlock. I was getting myself a coffee, a soy latte, three sugars. Do you know how much trouble you're in, mate? Attempted murder of a police officer? I know judges who fantasize about putting blokes like you bloody away, mate. Those egg and bacon rolls really give you a bit of grief, don't they? I'll give you a bit of grief. Yeah. I said who killed Mozzie? Was it a cannibal team? How would I know? Look, can I go now? No, sit down. Yeah, well, I know my rights. You can't keep me here. You're not going anywhere. Now sit down. Yeah? Yeah. And you're going to stop me? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I should have been at the interview. 
Listen, Tom, he's all yours, mate. Go and interview him, all right? His alibi checks out last night. Tom, he's a bouncer in a nightclub. He was there till 3 o'clock. Now, the autopsy tells us that Mozzie's death occurred between 10 and 12. You've got nothing to charge him with. He did assault Alex, Chief. Oh, come on, you didn't see his face, you didn't hear him speak. All you're going on is a pair of red and black boots. He'll never stand up. OK, look, we let him go, right? But we follow him. Maybe he's going to take us to the guy on the tape that Aubrey calls the, the bulldog, right? Mo Mozzie had a lead on him. Bloody Mozzie. Never gave up, did he? Don't tell me. Kevin Ridley. You know, he's, he's, he's standing in the community. You know, he's got a lot to lose if, if Aubrey goes to trial, right? You know, he, he could be the one that organised this hit. Alex, Mozzie came to me with this theory. We checked up on the guy. Nothing panned out. OK, Mick, take us straight home. No shopping. And stay with her until I can organise a guard. Yeah. She's becoming a liability. She's losing it. She's hanging on to this case. She's going to end up like Mozzie. Give her a break, Tom. Come on, you were exactly the same at her age. Exactly. She cares. I know you do too. I'm worrying about her. Hey guys. Come on, Alex. You even said that Mozzie was on edge. Yeah, I know, but if Mozzie thought that Kevin really was sus, then I'd believe him. Yeah, but Mozzie was paranoid, you know? He didn't trust anybody. He didn't even trust you. Stay there. Hang on. It's clear. I've stationed a guard outside. Mick, I want you to stick to a light glue. It's not me they're after. They're after Mozzie's tape. They're not going to find any prints. Well, it's not surprising when the Harvey amateurs. What? I really don't think Mozzie had the tape last night. When Mozzie talked about the tape, what did he say? I don't know. Okay, look, I, I think he made a copy, but he didn't say where. I'm sorry, it's just this tape is our one chance. Oh, no. I hate the thought of these bastards getting clear of us. Listen, Tom, I think that she's told you everything that she knows. OK. Let's continue this tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock in my office. Alex? Yeah. Tom's right with you? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'm just kidding. I've just got to finish this. Like glue. Sure. I'll call you if anything turns up. So how did Mozzie get his name? <laughs> Have you ever had a mosquito in your room late at night just buzzing around and around hustling you? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what he was like on a case, you know? It's just add it and add it and add it and add it. It's weird, you know, I keep waiting for the phone to call and it's going to be him and he's, he's going to say it was all just a trick. God. I shouldn't have listened to him, you know? I really, I should have just got him into protection. I should Alex, he wouldn't have let you. Hey, Alex, Alex. Hey, this is not your fault. <laughs> None of it is. <laughs> oh, God. This is not... This is... Just let it out. <laughs> How are we going to play this, Alex? Not too sure. Mr Ridley! Alex Sinclair, Sydney Water Police. The secretary told us we could find you here. You need Detective Michael Riley. Yeah? What do you want? Ah, oh, just a, a moment of your time. <clears throat> Nathan Aubrey. What can you tell us about him? Who? This gentleman you're speaking to in the photo. I meet a lot of people in my line of work. You can't expect me to remember all of them. I don't think Nathan would be too happy to hear you say you've forgotten him. He's, he's done a lot of favours for you, hasn't he? Then again, you've done an awful lot of favours for him. 
You and your boyfriend been spying on me, have you? Sinclair, you said your name was? Nathan wanted Mozzie out of the way. Now, did you uh, help him organise that? Who the hell's Mozzie? He was a police officer who was murdered yesterday. Listen, you two, I don't appreciate being harassed like this. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see how funny it is when I slap a rid on you and you spend the next ten years behind no, 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 a counter no, no, no. licking listen, stamps. Listen, listen, listen. Mozzie, Mozzie, you see, was a, a good mate of mine, good mate of mine. So that, that's a risk I'm really happy to take. <laughs> you do know that uh, Mozzie made a copy of that tape. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you're all over it, mate. Bulldog. Yeah? You know, Sinclair, maybe your little mate Brian was losing the plot. And, you know, I reckon you're going the same way. Who told you his real name? What? Who told you Mozzie's real name? It's no in one the knows news. It's not in the news. It's in the paper. Tell me who told you. I will oh, drag yeah, your yeah, yeah. ass backwards through this part. Tell me. Just read the paper, Sinclair. It's in there. I'm sorry, mate. I'll read shit, but I don't know where she is. Sorry. You're an asshole. Oh, this is good. Kevin Ridley, Nathan, Aubrey, all of them. He's in on all of this. Oh, Alex, don't. What are you talking be... about? I've already told you. Oh, there are two people who knew Rocky's real name, right? Put you the gun down. So put tell me, gun. how the hell did Kevin Ridley Alex. know his name? Well, Alex. Tell Alex. me. Put the gun down. Alex. 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 You Alex. 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 You better help her. Tom, don't. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, Alex. What have you done? I'm going to have to inform my eye about this. Get them in. McKelvey is dirty. Alex, I can't believe that you are suggesting that my friend, who I've known for 15 years, is involved in a pedophile ring. You got some nerve, young lady. Questioning my integrity. Then tell me how Ridley knew Mozzie's real name. Just tell me that. Losing Mozzie has obviously taken its toll on you. Oh, don't turn this round and make me crazy. Crazy? Don't do it. You've disobeyed every order you've been given since this thing blew up. And now you're pointing guns at a superior officer? Give it a break. You're way past crazy. You're bloody lucky Tom, I don't cuff you give on Give it a break. Spot. I think she needs some time off. Oh, that'd be convenient. Get rid of me. Excellent. I'm giving you a break, Alex. Quit while you're ahead. What are you bloody mad, are you? Hey. What was that all about? I don't know. Am I? Everyone else thinks I'm mad. Am I mad? Alex, Ridley could have got Mozzie's real name from someone else. Okay. So don't you think you might be wrong on this one? You know, I would really love to be wrong, but I don't think I am. You saw Ridley? He's scared. You know, Mozzie was right and so am I. Um, what's that? This? This here? This? This is a blank tape, but if I'm right, it's as good as a real one. Come on. Wanna come play? Michael! Alex, if he's in his apartment, he's not answering, okay? Okay, let's check the car park. Hey! Mr. Ridley! What the hell do you want? You want to hurry to go somewhere? Yeah, well, my wife's expecting me. As if it's any business of yours. So, if you'll excuse me. Uh huh. I thought you might like to take a look at this first. Yeah, that's right. Was he made a copy? See, this isn't just going to go away. Now, do you want to show us what's in the bags there? Get back! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Take get it back. easy. Take Hands it easy, on your head. Mr. Ridley. Just take Hands it easy. Hands on your head. Up! This is pointless, shut Mr. Up. Ridley. You shut up! That door over there. Head towards that door. Put the gun down. Shut up! Just do as I say! 
Keep your hands up. Turn around. Turn around. On your head. Up. Something you said earlier got me thinking. I wanted to know how Ridley knew Mozzie's name. All right, so you shoot him. If I hadn't been here, you'd be dead now, Alex. Tom, I'll need to get a statement from you. Let's go. This is Ridley's stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Fairly useless so far. Look, I want to know why he was so nervous about us looking in here. What you got there, Helen? I was speaking to Tom's wife about an hour ago. She asked me over for tea when all this is over. Well, it's not over. Are you? Uh, remember when Daniel won that trip to Japan with the school band? He was 14, I remember. He's about the same age as these kids you've been turning a blind eye to. If I'd known I was a bloody pedophile ring, I'd never have gone near Well, it. thank bloody Christ for that! Eight grand for the trip. It was... How was I ever going to afford that on a copper's wage? I've been a cop for 25 years. I can't even pay the bloody mortgage. They were going to give me 10 grand. It was a sweatshop racket. Just once only. It was a one-off, that's it. Once, how could you be so bloody stupid? They got me on film! I know, they I've got them up in a graph! And then they had me. So you took the gutless way out. All this time talking about how worried you were about Mozzie and you killed him. No. To save no, your own I never ass, went near Mozzie. You killed him. No, I never went. I did your place looking for the bloody tape. I never went near Mozzie. I wouldn't... How Mate, it could have been Ridley up... Well, we'll know when the guns come back from ballistics now, won't oh, we, Tom? such a pity we can't ask him. It's just another person you needed to get rid of. I shot Ridley because he was going to shoot you. Oh. That's the truth. Helen. <laughs> Helen. You know me, for God's sake. Right. I never went near Mozzie. I never went near Ridley. That's it. I believe you. I believe you about that. Tom McKelvey, you've been charged with conspiring to pervert the course of justice and we're taking a bribe. You are not obliged to say or do anything unless you wish to do so, but whatever you say or do may be used in evidence. Do you understand that, Tom? Yeah, I understand. No, I'm sure you do. Mozzie's parents, no one's contacted them. Did you know them? No. We didn't really talk about stuff like that. It's so weird knowing someone and not knowing anything about them. Yeah. You know, if McKelvey's telling the truth about Nathan Aubrey, about not having any dealings with him, then Aubrey's just going to walk free. Unless the tape shows up. Can we get something to eat? Oh, no, 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 no. I have to... Thanks anyway, I'm, I'm just going to crash. See you tomorrow. No one's out. You're welcome.
too good. 